Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> He's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want, so. <laughs> Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> when the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Child was declared stillborn. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Let you go, did you? Get Judy. No guard on gate, empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
hits him every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. first. Far away. <laughs> I can see you, Aiden. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs>
Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Help me, Aiden. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want her baby! Sedate her quickly! Please! Get the baby oh, out of here! Please! Please, let me see her! Oh, my child! Please! She may develop some her. special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. John, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So... I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. 
and I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. <laughs>